Women leaders are shaping the success at the School of Social Work at the University of St. Thomas and St. Catherine University in St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Catherine Professor Judy Miller first led the department back in 1975. Under her leadership, the department grew and became a school in 1996. Current Dean Barbara Shank credits the school's success to its faculty, comprised mainly of women. Serene Thornton was a faculty member for over 30 years and says it should not be a surprise that women leaders are allowed to shine in the School of Social Work. The majority of social workers tend to be women. Um, and so all of our students have had a wonderful opportunity to watch people as real leaders who are extremely qualified women. And so I think there's a lot of role modeling that goes on, which is very helpful for students to be able to experience and therefore get an idea, I could do that in future employment and work that I'm doing. You have the Sisters of St. Joseph who are also very close to my heart. Here were powerful, amazing women who brought St. Kate's and many other things into our community. And then the School of Social Work, and you have these you know, amazing, powerful, strong women. And um, it's all made me a big believer in the power of women. Um, and, and I think there's that saying of when, when women do better, you know, communities, countries, the world does better. Women and children do better. And, and so it's, it's a powerful sort of, all of these are just powerful examples of what, I think, what women have created. Dozens of faculty and staff members are contributors to the School of Social Work's growth and success. Two faculty members illustrate women leaders at the University of St. Thomas. Dr. Angeline Beretta Herman for her international perspective and Dr. Janice Andrew Schenk for her scholarship and teaching. Dean Barbara Shank says she's proud of hiring Dr. Angeline Beretta Herman to join the faculty in 1991 and says from the start, it's been a remarkable relationship. She's one of my very best friends and one of my very best colleagues. We met when she and Randy were living in New Zealand and I convinced her to come and join us in Minnesota. And it's been a great collaboration and partnership since then. She was the MSW program director for probably eight to 10 years and then went into uh, senior level administration here at the university. In 2003, Dr. Beretta Herman became the Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs at the University of St. Thomas and held that position until 2011. Angeline Beretta Herman has a master's degree in business administration and a PhD in sociology from Massey University in New Zealand. She wants to make sure the mission of social work goes beyond Minnesota and the United States. My biggest legacy, I, I believe, will be my international focus. Um, having um, taught and educated in another country with a different view of what social work is and what it can be, um, I think that's a, a challenge for my colleagues and my students to, to think, um, think wider, think more globally. The international perspective helped to shape her leadership style and her commitment to the School of Social Work. She always impressed me as being serious about her work uh, and, uh, and committed to doing a good job. I would describe her as a consensus builder, um, an implementer. She can take a plan, um, extremely articulate, thoughtful, reflective. Um, just a, she's an excellent teacher great with students. She's a delight. She's just a delight. I mean, she's another um, ju just visionary person, um, dreamer, visionary, but, but she also is a fabulous teacher. Beretta Herman says she's proud of her research contributions to the field of social work, but believes her relationship with faculty members is one of her lasting achievements. I think some of my greatest successes have been in my encouragement of the faculty that I work with and the staff that I've worked with. I felt that I was able to really um, mentor them so that they were able to uh, not only do their job better, but be better able to meet their own goals. Janice Andrew Schenk came to the School of Social Work in 1990. She was known for her work examining the history and philosophy of social group work and for her commitment to social justice issues. When I think of Jan, I think of the quintessential scholar. She was somebody who was so uh, student-focused and very, very committed to teaching. Andrew Shank received the 2005 Lifetime Achievement Award from the Minnesota chapter 
of the National Association of Social Work. She published Rebellious Spirit, a biography of Gisela Kanapka, and researched other so-called radical social workers. She died in 2005 at the age of 61. Jan was an elegant woman, uh, very bright, um, who really was probably the most radical in terms of theory um, of the faculty that I was in contact with. Um, and she, um, she oftentimes pushed uh, the rest of us to think about whether or not we were looking at the opposite side of either a theory or an idea or a initiative. Jan also paid a lot of attention to important history in social work that has to do with the, the more macro aspect of social work, the boat rockers, the historical boat rockers that took a lot of risks to um, address injustice in our society and to um, work towards uh, greater justice for all and eliminating uh, oppression and discrimination. And she was very steadfast in staying true to that in the classroom and also in her scholarship. Jan was a fabulous teacher. I think that was her skill, a teacher and a scholar. She was a beautiful woman, a very picturesque statuette. Um, just and just great in the classroom. Students loved her. She was a, really one of my favorite teachers and one of the best teachers I've ever had. And I think because a couple things, she really was, um, you can do this. You know, you can publish, you can teach, you can, no, I can't. What do you mean I can do this? Yes, you can, you're already doing this. I, I mean, it was just, she was constantly kind of encouraging and just not even accepting no. It was just like, nope, you're gonna do this. You are doing this. She was this beautiful, graceful, just lovely woman, and you would have never thought that she had all these kind of progressive and radical social work ideas. You would have looked at her, and, and she, we had all these conversations about it, because she, she would say, people looked at me and made all these assumptions, and then they got to know me, and they found out this whole other, other side of me. The faculty at the School of Social Work at the University of St. Thomas and St. Catherine University say they're helping to build confidence and provide support for students who will help shape the future. Having strong women leaders, I think, inspires the students we have who tend to be primarily women. And we also have men. And I think that that modeling is important and encouraging to them. We also have a lot of graduates who are strong women leaders, who are judges, who lead agencies, um, who have run for political office. So. I would like to think that our women leaders in our program have also been models inspiring our graduates to take on those leadership roles, whether it's running an agency, um, supervising other students, being fieldwork instructors, coming back as teachers in our programs, bringing their wisdom back full circle into um, what we're doing. Um, I think that. I like to think that that is some of the full circle that we have and that that inspiration has fostered. The School of Social Work at St. Catherine University and the University of St. Thomas continues to shine a light on women in leadership. A Master of Social Work program started in 1990 and in 2014 a new doctoral program began with an emphasis on preparing social work faculty for university level teaching and leadership in higher education. The school's mission draws on the Judeo-Christian traditions of social caring. The faculty strives to prepare students to use social work knowledge, values, and skills to demonstrate the intrinsic value of all humankind as they serve those in need and promote social justice and human rights. <laughs>